If I could actually show you a couple photographs. First of all, why did you go to Josephine Street? Because that's where his family from. Had you been there before? Yes. I can show you Exhibit 58. Do you recognize that person? Yeah, that's dumb. Is that the person you left your phone number with to get in touch with Telly? Yes. If I can show you number 48, do you know whose house that is? Yeah, that's Telly's mama house. Where is that located? On Josephine. If I can show you number 62, who is that guy? That's Mooney. If I can show you 53, who is that? That's Telly. Is this a convenient spot to break? I have a while to go, Judge. So then we will break now. We will take a recess until 1 o'clock, maybe 1.10, and then we will come back. Aaron, I believe before we broke for lunch, we were talking about you going to Josephine Street to reach out to Telly. Who was it on Josephine Street you spoke with? I ran into Dom. Did you give Dump your phone number? Yeah, I gave Dump my phone number for Telly to contact me. Can you pull the microphone a little closer to you, please? I gave Dump my phone number for Telly. At some point after that, did Telly contact you? Yeah, he called me. He called me from a 205 number. From a 205 number? Yeah, that was an 08. Okay. That was meaning from an area code? Yeah, 205 area code. Do you know where Telly Hankton was at the time he called you? I don't know where he was at the time, but he told me he was out of town. Just so that the record is clear, can we get a time frame again? He just said 2008, Your Honor. 2008, okay. Was there a point in, in that conversation when Telly called you, what did you all discuss? I can't remember if it was the first or the second time that we had got in contact that we, that I discussed I wanted to talk to him. I didn't really discuss over the phone exactly what I wanted to talk to him about, but I did tell him that I had somebody that I wanted him to meet. Right. Why did you not discuss with him over the phone what you wanted to talk to him about? Because I didn't want to talk about a murder over the phone. Is there something about talking on the phone that made you concerned? Well, anytime you're talking on the phone, you don't want to talk about murders and stuff like that when you're in the street. When you are referring to the fact that you wanted him to meet somebody, who are you talking about? I was talking about Walter Porter, Mooney. All right, why did you want him to meet Walter Porter, Mooney? Because Mooney said that he knew him and he wanted to meet him. He wanted to meet him again. You know what I'm saying? But they had juvenile time together. He was like, he know me, he know me. Just tell him. Just tell him Mooney, just tell him Walter or whatever. He know me. And I was like, all right, I'm going to tell him or whatever. Now, was Walter Porter asking you to connect him with Telly after this whole thing happened with Chaotic and Eric G when you went to go look for Tutu in the East? Yes. Okay. And why did Walter Porter want you to connect him with Telly? So he could do the hit. Was Walter Porter aware of your relationship to Telly? Yeah, he was aware of my relationship with Telly. How often was Walter Porter asking you to connect him with Telly? Every time he see me. Every time he see me, he asked, he like, you talk to your people yet? The people came, you talk to your people yet? I'm like, no. I'm like, he out of town. He's still out of town or whatever. Was he putting pressure on you? It wasn't pressure like that, but he was asking me, you know, he was asking me pretty much all of the time, did I talk with Telly yet? You said you don't know if it was the first or second time you talked to Telly. Was there another time when you connected with Telly? Yeah, it was in 2009. It was in 2009. I had went to jail. I went to jail in 2008. I went to jail in 08 and I came home. I came back in 2009, but it was like December 28th, 08. And then I came back home in 2009. But when I had came home, when I had came home, that's when I got back in touch with Telly. But it was, it was months later. Did you get back in touch with Telly or did he reach out to you? Well, I reached out to him. I reached out to him because I ran into Tutu. Me and Tutu started having dealings or whatever. So at what point in time did you run into Tutu? Like in 2009. Did you know who Tutu was before then? Yeah, I knew who he was. 
how do you know who he was? Because I got another partner named Crip. And he was in jail with him. So Crip was getting me to like send him some stuff in jail, like some money and stuff so he could get some weed and stuff like that in jail. So he asked me for some money. So I sent him some money in 2008 and Dernie had came, picked up, had came, picked the money up. So how did this come up? Who was Crip in jail with? He was in jail with Tutu. How do you know that? On the same tier with Tutu. How do you know that? Because he told me. Did you ever speak to Tutu on the phone while you were speaking to Crip? Yeah, I spoke to him on the phone because he was because he was telling me that Dernie was coming, that Dernie was coming over there by me. Right, so your friend Crip was asking you for what? He was asking me for objection to hearsay, your honor, some money. Wait, 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 sustained. He was asking me for some money. No, don't answer that, rephrase your question. Okay, Dernie came and picked up what from you? Some money. To give to who? To give some weed for Crip. And where was Crip at that time? He was in jail with Tutu. All right. Had you actually met Tutu at that point? No, I didn't actually meet him personally, but I talked to him on the phone. All right. And was that the first time you met Dernie? Yeah, that was the first time and the last time I seen Dernie. Was there some point later on that you had actually met Tutu? Yeah, I met Tutu in 2009. Did you ever... Do you know an individual by the name of Hassan Williams or Haki? Yeah, I know Haki. I know Haki through his sister. His sister used to do hair in my daddy's shop. What's his sister's name? Apple. How many shops did your parents own? Well, at the time it was just one uptown. Apple worked at that shop? Apple worked at the shop. So how did you know Haki? Haki used to be at the shop. And I used to always see him and stuff like that. So we used to see each other and speak to each other and stuff like that, you know. So he was cool. Did you ever know how could he be friends with Tutu? No, I didn't at the time. All right. At some point later on, did you hang out with Hockey? Yeah. I seen, I seen Hockey at the Wing Shack downtown. And I was with my cousin. It was a female, a female cousin. What's your female cousin's name? Sharon. And when I seen him with my cousin, well, I was with my cousin. I seen him at the wing shot. I ordered my food and stuff. And so I went to talking to him. So he looking at my cousin and he liked her. So I felt like he was a cool dude. So I was like, I was like, told him who she was. And I was like, go talk to her or whatever. I was like, you know, this hockey or whatever, you know, that's Sharon. Y'all go head on and talk. I went over there to get finished, you know, see what's up with my food or whatever. So they got acquainted. So after that, did Sharon date Hockey or... Yeah, she was dealing with Hockey. They was calling each other, going to see each other, doing all type of stuff. All right. And through that connection, did you eventually meet Tutu? Yeah. Tutu wanted to meet me when he, when he found out who I was. He wanted to meet me. Who gave you that information Tutu wanted to meet you? Hockey told me. And did you eventually meet Tutu? Yeah, I met him. Where did you meet Tutu? I think the initial time that I met him was around the bottom line. No, no. The initial time, it was the same night that we went to the bottom line, but it was by the gas station on Elysian Fields, by the subway and all that type of stuff. They got the subway and stuff around there and the truck stop gas station thing right there, the casino and all that on Elysian Fields. How did it come about that you met Tutu? Well, he was calling me that night and he was saying that Tutu wanted to holler at me or whatever. When you say he was calling you, who are you? Hockey. Hockey, yeah. And I was with my cousin. I was with my cousin and like two other girls. So I'm uptown and we looking for somebody to go anyway. So I rolled down there to holler at them. I rolled down there to go to go see what was up with them or whatever. So we was talking or whatever and stuff like that. And they asked me where I was going. And I was like, we about to go by the bottom line because Warren was at the bottom line and he was calling me too. What is the bottom line? That's a club on Claiborne and Frenchman. Who is Warren? That's one of my friends from the neighborhood. What's his last name, do you know? Warren Turner. So when you met with them, told them you were going to the bottom line, what else happened? They told me they was gonna to go to the east. They told me they was gonna to go to the east. So we pulled off from the gas station, me and the three girls, 
and we went towards the bottom line. So we pull up on Claiborne by the bottom line and Tutu and them pull up behind me. They had told me they were going to the east, but they pulled up behind me or whatever. So they called me and like, what's up or whatever. So I'm like, what's up? So I got out and I went and sat in the car with them. Hockey went up in the bottom line to go holler at Frida to see if we're going to get some weed or something like that. And you got in the car. Who was in the car? I got in the car with Tutu. I got in the passenger side with Tutu. Now, why would you want to meet Tutu if you had been exploring the hit on Tutu? Well, I was going, I was going to set Tutu up to get killed. Was that part of what you were thinking? Yeah, that was part of what I was thinking. But when I got in the car with him and we talking and we talking and he just come out the blue and he like, when is the last time you seen Wild? I'm like, Wild? Because I don't know Telly about Wild. I'm like, Wild? He like, you know, Telly. I'm like, Telly? So now I'm like, you know, my heart is beating. I'm like, do he know that this is my people or not? I didn't know if he knew or not. I'm like, I ain't been seeing him or whatever. I don't know. He like, man, I know you know what's happening. I know you know what's going on. What did you say to that? I'm like, no, I heard about it or whatever, but that ain't my business. And he like, yeah, your honor, objection to hearsay. Overruled. Did you tell him about who you had heard it from? Yeah, he asked me who I heard it from. And I was like, little dude named Eric G or whatever. I was like, they was trying to put that shit on you or something like that, I heard. But you know what I'm saying? They was trying to bring this shit to me, but that ain't my business. You hear me? And he was like, you know them little boys don't want to see me and all this and all that. But hockey started coming toward the car and my cousin and them started getting out the car and stuff like that. So that conversation got cut short. So he seen one of the girls that was with me that he liked. So he actually, when you say he, I'm sorry, who are you talking about? Tutu. So he hollered at the girl or whatever. So they ended up following me uptown back in the neighborhood and stuff like that. So he was talking to the girl. So the girl actually left with him that night or whatever. So he had got the girl or whatever. Did you exchange phone numbers with Tutu at that time? Yeah, we had each other's phone number. Had you spoken to Tutu again after that night? Yeah, we met up some time after that, after that too. At this conversation that you had with Tutu when he was asking you about Telly, had you actually had a specific conversation with Telly about the hit on Tutu? Yeah, I had a conversation with Telly about it. So when you had this conversation in front of the bottom line with Tutu, had you already spoken to Telly about the hit that Telly had on Tutu? I think I had already talked to him about it. I don't know if I already talked to him about it or not because I remember talking to Telly like once or twice about it. But Telly, he told me, I remember one time he told me that he didn't need no help. Let me stop you. Let's talk about the first time you talked to Telly. The first time I talked to him about it, he told me, wait, she hasn't asked you a question. Where were you when you had the conversation with Telly? On Jackson. On Jackson Avenue? On Jackson. On somebody's porch on Jackson. Who was part of this conversation? Tutu. No, 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 I'm sorry. Who were you having, just me and Telly, but we were talking about Tutu. So when you were having this conversation with Telly, what did you say to him? Did you ask him about it? I asked him what's up with the little dude, Tutu or whatever. He was like, he don't know what's up with him or whatever. So I was like, man, I heard about that sh I was like, you know, I could handle it for you or whatever. I was like, I'd be f with him. I could handle it for you. He was like, well, I don't need your help on that level. You know what I'm saying? But if you would show me where he at, I'll look out for you. But he was like, I don't need your help on that. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, all right, or whatever. I still got somebody who want to meet you. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, all right, or whatever. And he was like, if you know anybody want to sell some guns, you know, I'm buying. Who said that? Telly. Now, when he told you he didn't want, what is the word he used? My help. You were going to him asking him if you could do that work for him? Right. What did he say to you, essentially? He was saying he didn't need my help. Did he say if you could tell him where he was at? Yeah, he asked, if you could show me where he at, then I'll look out for you. What does that mean, I'll look out for you? I mean, he'll give me whatever. Probably some money or some, you know, whatever. Did he ever give you a money number? A money number? Yeah, did he ever tell you how much money he would give you? I think it was something like $5,000 or something like that. 